this guy. Previously, on Until Dawn. I'm guessing we're gonna move on to chapter two now. Don't you guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? This is a good catch-up for anyone who just got here. It was just here. a prank, Han. No! Shut <laughs> First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Oh, son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? That feels the same to me. Okay, so this is like, I think the game's gonna have like chapters, this is chapter two. Josh, Hannah and Beth's brother, complex, thoughtful, loving. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. Yeah, when are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, I, I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. Ooh. Makes sense. Hey guys, get up here, okay? Yeah. Oh, well, more or less, but it was so good to see you. What's up with him? So we're still getting to see everything. We're still getting to see this other point of view. Yo, yo, yo! We get things moving up here, or what? Yeah, man. Gossip or worry? What well, gossip? There's nothing to worry about. So We're in a cabin in the, the woods. Now, it's right? dark. Yeah, what so could go teams. wrong? I mean, what's Mike think of that? I have a feeling Mike's already got his hands full, you know what I mean? Huh. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's got to be like a window around the corner we can get like get open or something. Wait a second, are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Okay, so we're gonna go break into our own cabin. Hey, this seems legit. Hi, Chris. Okay, so these two have a crush on each other. Let's be confident. So, how are you doing? good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Okay. So we've been we've been confident. We've done our we've done our confident bit with Ashley. We put in our, our confidence points. Uh, let's go find a window to smash with this guy. <laughs> we gotta break in into the log cabin. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Protest? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you will be the, we'll, we'll protest. Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not gonna bang her, maybe Michael take up the case. Wait, will you back off on Relax. Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Agree. Yeah, well, I don't have a kill. Maybe I don't like your choice of wording there. Hunter, bro. Especially no given fear, our scenario. No mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, all right, I got sure. it. Jeez. Okay, so. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? Uh, we'll find out when we turn this corner. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Cochise, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Look, oh, there are Nobody multiple windows here. Buns. 
We can get up over here. So we've got the uh, very original setting of <laughs> Kevin in the woods. It's dark. We've got horny teenagers. What could possibly go wrong? All right, let's have a look. That's it, axe. There was an axe in there. And now there's not an axe in there. What? Damn, I'm getting pretty low on juice here. I just gotta turn off my GPS. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. Here we go. Uh, is this part of a let's play or do you just feel like streaming it? Uh, this will be up on YouTube as well. So I, I'm, I'm going to stream the whole thing, but I will also be uploading it to YouTube. So if you missed any of it, you can watch it there. Or if you miss any of it in the future, you can watch it all there. At least it's not a needle holder. Oh, I know, right? I'm that would okay. be actually really, really obvious more attention if we'd gone class. straight from that guy who was like, "Do you? Th are you, you scared of needles?" I'd be like, "Yeah." Yeah. And then we jump into the game, and it's just rope. this massive needle holder. Whoa. Oh God, the lights are out. Did I do that? Yes, with your mind. I, I don't think so. Here, use this. Oh, this seems safe as well. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Probably that sounds a like a lock. terrible Bingo. idea. All right, so you got this. I've seen I'm someone do that before. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark? For when I was time? in high school, someone like some kids had a, a lighter oh, and a, a can of Lynx, which God is like uh, deodorant oh, spray, and just it's like a flamethrower type effect. It's <laughs> it looks cool, but do not try it at home. It is dangerous as all heck. What the heck is this? Oh, it's a totem. No. See, what color is that? I see, is that yellow? Because it's got like a kind of yellow tinge around the outside. But like that, there's a black hole. I'm not quite sure. I think the outer ring of the thing there is yellow. Which I mean, I think means, let's look, can we look at that again? I think that means that one of our friends is gonna, that's like the, the fate of one of our friends. Can we not look inside again? No, okay. We were given a little like pamphlet earlier or a sign that told us all about these different butterfly effects. We didn't write it down. <laughs> Anything over there? No? Okay. Uh, I kind of want to look over here first before we go upstairs. It doesn't seem to be anything. Uh, can we go in here? We can. I was going to say there has to be something in here. Oh, I've got a little newspaper article. What we got? Ex janitor convicted so for arson. Swears revenge on movie Moog's family. Okay. I don't like that at all. So we saw a poster. So there's a guy got actually what, wait, what was the date on that? I'm sorry, I'm looking at like I'm looking at the stream back so I can see the date. I'll look at the other thing again here. What is this? What was the date on that? That was November 28th. It's like at 997. So we saw the poster outside. That was looking for the guy for 1998. So obviously he was convicted, but he escaped. And maybe we'll see. Maybe he got caught again. I'm assuming not. I'm assuming he's out and about. We keep getting flashbacks or little things of fire. Like the guy in the forest in the original scene a year ago was had like some fire with him. That scene we just saw now was like had some fire. The fact that we're holding a lighter and about to get some deodorant to spray like a flamethrower kind of thing scares the living daylights out of me. If we're dealing with an arsonist here. The music. Huh? Is so tense it? right now. There was a shadow there. There was a shadow of like an arm swinging or something.
What the heck? I can hear like whispers and everything. Okay, the door's still locked. We need to go find that deodorant, don't we? <laughs> Hi, Chris. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be like getting the lock open or something? On it. Yes, outside we have Sam and Ashley. They're, they're the two girls we just saw outside the door here. This is Chris. I'm gonna try and get the names of all these guys down. Who the heck is dropping glasses? And it looks like we've got like the whole house to explore. Or the whole cabin. I, we were told where the stuff was, weren't we? Tones showed someone burning. I think the guy told us where the deodorant was. And I'm just... I, I've forgotten. <coughs> we'll find it. This... Is so creepy. Like, I think the... Also, the fact that everything's, like, covered up because it's been, like, they don't want the dust to get on it or anything. It just makes it all the more creepy. And we're in a wooden cabin. And we're gonna set up a flamethrower. Whose ridiculous idea was this? Indeed. So they wanted somebody's movement restricted. Obviously, somebody they thought was going to be dangerous, and the police couldn't do anything. Okay. Got a nice little family photo. Ready for the senior prom? Sarah, Mike, Emily, and Sam. I assume I said Sarah. Can we look at that again? I can't always look at the front of it, but okay. Uh, yeah, can we look at this again? What we got here? We've got... Oh, okay, so... Emily, Mike, Sarah, and Sam. 2013. Okay. Sure. Let's go upstairs. I have a feeling the deodorant might be in a bedroom somewhere. So is it lol IRL? Do you think the person would be walking around the room like that? Yeah, they'd be checking out everything. If I wasn't sent to go open a door, I'd just spend an hour wandering around and just looking at stuff. Also, shadows are just creepy as heck. Why was that not on the, the questions list? This this cabin is endless. And why are we not turning lights on? Why is the no... Why do we not think, let's turn lights on as we go through? I know the power went out in that one room. Did we, like, bust everything? I'm going to get so lost in this house. This was like a bloody... Is that a bathroom? This was like a bloody big bathroom. But I assume some deodorant will be in here. There we go. Ah! Get the fuck? Jesus Christ! Ah. What the heck was that? It should have been like a snake. Ah, perfect. That's horrible. Is this supposed to be a horror game? Well, I, it is. It's supposed to be a survival here. horror game. Did she just say we're freezing our bones off out here? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> so what the cute little doggie. Eh? Crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It's like a... Bear or a tiger or something. A bear oh, or a just tiger. A cute little baby Wolverine. Baby, don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big <gasps> boy soon. Heart attack done. <laughs> that was that was oh, unexpected. Sweet, home. sweet is not the word I'd use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. And yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. 
What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Make yourself at home, bro. Will do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. I'm gonna warn him. We won't challenge him yet, but we'll Mike, warn stay him. stay away from our girlfriend. Dude, what are you talking about? Stay away from Emily. Emily? Why would I want anything to do with Emily? Quit being a dick. <laughs> Quit being such a dick, man. Nobody wants you here. Seriously, what's your problem, meathead? You son of a bitch! Hey! Hey! Get off me! Hey! What the hell is wrong with you two? We didn't come back here just to tear each other's heads off. I mean, we came back here to have a good time, right? Hey, Mike, why don't you and Jess go check out the guest cabin I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Wanna head up there? Sure. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my God, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. <laughs> right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my God, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I forget my bag? Well, do I... you? Got a little bit of an argument going on. Guess not. You must have left it down. Emily is the much. rich girl. That does seem Come legit. Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. <sighs> and then we can get warm. We can get very warm. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Okay, let's go. Okay, so they're gonna they're heading off back out into the wilderness, which just seems like a great idea. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. She knows about the really, really big bath upstairs. That also seems like a terrible idea. Everything's a terrible idea uh, when it's dark and you're exiled. in the woods. Sexiled. <laughs> Works for me. That was a fun joke. Ugh, bar. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars! <laughs> gonna need these. Porn star? I pay to see it. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. It's dark everywhere. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> okay. All right. So now we're going to go. Hopefully we're going to get power. This will hopefully make our life a little bit easier. Where are we power going back upstairs? Turn, turn back around. <laughs> And we can still we can still control the light as well, which is cool. Okay. Good. Can we like crouch. Hi. Hey, hot lips. Photo booth. All right, read my mind. We need to get a selfie for Instagram. Okay. That oh was a God. horrible photo, probably. <laughs> this is perfect. We're like the cutest couple. Damn. You should be a model. You keep that camera handy, and maybe I'll let you start my portfolio at the cabin. Ooh. <laughs> Noted. Did he have to say a wink? <laughs> uh, Someone in chat said, I have a pornographic memory. So how does that work? Oh, we can we can look around here. Ooh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, 
Uh, let's go this way. Yeah, how does that work? Like a photographic memory? I, like it's like a photographic memory, I assume. Burn, it is freezing out. I have no idea how that would work. Uh, something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? <laughs> uh, I got a few things in mind. Someone in chat just said, "Oh, and be careful about the crazy lunatic murderer." Just FYI. Yeah, this is definitely an 18 plus, by the way, if you're watching. There is language that would represent a game that is 18 plus, and also probably violence. Dude, I assume. What the heck was all that muscle flexing on. back there with you and Matt? Matt's a dick, just showing off. So wait, this is Chris, who was Emily's ex, who was seen hugging Emily, who is now hitting on Jess. Matt, who is now Emily's current boyfriend, knows about this. What is going on right now? Why? What? Was that Matt? Was that Chris? Hugging Emily? Or was that, some, that must have... I don't even know. We're going to be aggressive. We're going to say Matt's a dick. A dick, right? Dude has no business coming at me like that. He's got any brain. And that huge dumb melon. He better find it and use it or he's going to get wrecked. Wow. Nasty Mikey. Just riled up. Me likey. <laughs> okay. Let's go turn on this generator. Because I... Hope there's gonna be some of the means that it doesn't work. We're gonna get there and it's gonna be like the generator is huh. not working. Guess this thing needs juice or something. Okay. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? Exactly. Um well this is like a soap opera. I know, right? We've got so many things, it's just like you gotta keep track of all the totem. Generate a little excitement about getting that freaking generator to work. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll just yell at it like you're yelling at me. Let's see if That's that like... works. Danger totem. Let me let me press R1. That's not R1. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So can I look at the totems? Oh, what the heck is this? All right. So we've got. Oh. Okay, what? <laughs> All right. Okay, so we got black. Black equals a death totem, the possible death of a person who finds it. Yellow is a guidance totem, a vision of guidance for a future choice. Brown is the potential loss of a friend. I think that's what we just saw. Found in the Washington Lodge by Chris. That was by Chris. Who found the danger totem? Oh, that was a red totem. Okay, it didn't look very red. It looked more brown. But that was Ashley. So Ashley's in danger. Oh, I don't like this. We found a guidance totem. Found by Sam. About the bird. We did kill a bird. Oh, gosh. So many layers. And right now we have three butterflies. Which identify choices we made. We chose to look at his phone. We chose to shoot the bird. We didn't shoot the squirrel. We threw a snowball at the bird. And then we looked at Chris and Matt. And we got the Chris and Emily, and we also showed Matt. Okay. And we can also see character in for, for the character that we currently have. We currently have a really good relationship with Jess. Our relationship with Matt is non-existent. And it's kind of, oh, okay, that's cool. So we can kind of see all the, uh, how our relationship pans out with everybody else as we go along. I like it. Let's uh, take a look at some all of this stuff. All right. Let's see. Give it a flick. Boom. Nice one, Mikey. Boom. Come on, get away. So is it? Wow, this is confusing. There's a lot. There is a lot that we have to kind of. That that. I need the audio file. I need flipping intense violins. Dot wav. Or dot mp3. I need the that little like flipping violin thing that. Keeps playing. Jeez. I don't like that guy. But yeah, this game is really pretty. It does look real nice. Someone pointed out the eye textures are special. Damn. Like, uh, and I agree. Like when you get so close to someone, and especially on the main menu, there's like a, a little an like a animation good, of a person. Right? The eyes look real good. Yeah. Totally. That was just awesome. Oh yeah. I bring the hit. Intense violin.wav. Yeah, that's the file I need. 
That's the only audio file in this game. You psyched yet? You don't look psyched yet. I am psyched. I'm so psyched right now. <laughs> it's like a little adventure, a sexcapade. Wow. All right, so generator's on. Does that generator give power to the cabin or just to, well, the, the, the cabin kind of already had power, but we like blew the lights. Well, that's like where a crime scene used to be. From Hannah and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. We got more music coming in. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm so what's gonna getting happen? the creeps now. I hope they rest in peace. I do. Well, we we're getting some music, and whenever sure. we get music, something Happy happens. Maybe we're all thinking about them. That's a nice way of thinking about it. The music did kind of stop kind of suddenly, though. What the heck? Um, did you hear that? I definitely heard I that. Heard something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's probably nothing. Let's just keep walking. Flipping, <laughs> hey. The music stopped. You know they're dead. That, yeah, that's pretty much it. Someone's gonna die. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, aka Wax Museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. <laughs> Jess! I was ready for death. So there's a cabin oh. and a lodge? Hey, there's Jessica. two different things? Yep. Hey, I'm okay. Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. You just left the I lodge and go off uh, to the cabin? You didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you get out? I... Uh, I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. Here, take my phone. Heroic, I'll jump down, push the cart. I feel like we should be cautious. All right, Jess, there's a cart. I think if you can push it, you can get by. All right. Okay, let me just try. <laughs> Someone said he's dead? You think he's gonna die first? It's too heavy. Mm, do we insist or do we squeeze through the gap? Uh, squeeze through the gap. Try and get around back and push it. Hey, so, babe, you see the little gap down there? Should have done heroic? Between the cart and the wall? I, I was gonna go heroic, so people yeah, are like, come on, she's your girlfriend. Can... Just, but it seems like a silly you know, idea for us to jump like down there as well. Through it or something. <laughs> I appreciate your confidence in my physique, but I don't think the ladies are gonna fit. Oh, with <laughs> okay. He's like, oh, gotcha. yeah. Okay, so why don't you either toss that light down? Everyone in the chat's being like, I would have done heroic. And jump down here to assist me. Okay, okay. Chat's like, we've got to be heroic. I will be heroic. All right, don't move. I'm coming in. Better hurry up before some other hunky beefcake gets. <laughs> We're gonna die. Hey, We're hey, gonna so die. Wanna help me move this cart? No, I wanna look behind us at the guy we just saw. All right. I am so flipping. This is what we get for being heroic, guys. This is what we get. Imagine us grunting together. This is not what I pictured. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Whew. The people in the jar are just like, oh crap. He is right behind us. We are more than definitely done for. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed square oh. before oh I pressed gosh. triangle. Are you okay? Uh, yep. Yep. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, God. You totally ate shit. Thank you. Thanks. You're so kind. Still got my teeth. That's a plus. <sighs> yes. Yes. <sighs> Come on. Let's... let's... We gotta keep moving. We gotta get some ground on this creepy guy behind oh, us. What's Nelly. Here? This place is giving me the willies. Anything? And not the good kind of willies. Oh, there were stairs. Can I offer you a little 
comfort and reassurance. <laughs> we'll save it for the cabin, Buster. I thought I was in the other direction, but I guess we'll go the stair route. Oh, I don't like how many like alternate paths there are. Let's go this way. I don't want to turn back at any cost because turning back results in like us getting attacked by the psycho. Whoa. Clue found. This place is like mysterious symbol. Historical. Holy There are quite a lot of historical things going on. Native American, right? I don't think the miners were getting their arts and crafts on, no. <laughs> no, no, it's like a shrine or something. A shrine to what? Clue found. A cigar stub. Okay. It looks somewhat old. But also, I have no idea. It could be brand new. Let's go this way, I guess. You alright? Yeah. Close I don't like that. I don't think this place is up to code. I do not think yeah, this place is up to anything. To is this the way out? I assume going up is the way out. I assume we're like going up to the surface. So, yeah, maybe it does seem like we're like backtracking a little bit here. Going back the way we came, but that could be right. I'm never a fan of when it gets Finally. real quiet. A little ray of hope. Okay, we're outside. I can see lights. This is good. Okay. We are successfully out of the cave. And just heading somewhere. This is good. Okay, so I'm wondering what the difference is between the cabin and the lodge then. Are we all going to the cabin, or are some people staying at the lodge? Are we staying split up? Are we all going to be together? I, I have no idea. Well, well. When Josh said cabin, I felt like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? <sighs> These two. Right on Air Force One. <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for the stump. Oh, a telescope. Gonna look at the trees. Gonna look at. The Class, gonna look at the cabin. Um, whoa. Right. What are we seeing? I just saw someone at the cabin. Who? Who? Let's look. Okay. Let me see. I hate these now. I jumped a little bit. And I'm so annoyed at myself for jumping even a little bit because I know what's coming this time. How far around can we look? There's like nothing here. We can look up, around. I don't see anything. Uh, sampling the old eggnog again, babe? It's just us up here. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Someone said, my poor heart. Yeah, your heart might be a few too many times. Today. Oh, what's this? There's like a sign. Can we look? Stop. Do you mind being in my way? Let's look at this. Hey, Jess. Mm-hmm. Stay close by, okay? Blackwood what's Pines. That? Uh, uh, wolves, bears. This posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Oh, Michael, I have the best idea. Are you wanting to go find a bear? Let's go hug a bear. <gasps> Come that's on, a really please. good idea. Come yeah, on. Like, like, yeah, yeah, no, that's a real... Let's not she's crazy she's crazy yeah I am I am not gonna is this where we came up I think it might be um I'm not a fan of those like telescope things we're gonna look every time we look to one of those I'm just gonna be like waiting for a jump scare to happen yeah I think we came up these stairs let's go the other way if I have a heart attack, I blame and sue Twitch. I, uh, I'm not quite sure how far you'll get with that. But okay. Yes. 
Oh, there are footprints where we've been. Oh, that's cool. Did we come? We didn't. There were stairs on both sides. I don't think we came this way. I think we came the other way. I think we're heading kind of down and around to the cabin now. So that should be okay, right? <laughs> but yeah, there are footprints where we've been. That's cool. I, I, I just saw you put a footprint down. That's interesting. Don't walk too far ahead. There are bears, wolves, deer, and psychopaths around. Oh, there's the deer. <laughs> the goddamn psychopath! Watch out, bird brain. I'm witty. I'm always witty. It's just... It's just answering his mating call. Wow, you're easy. Yeah. You've got a lot of love to give. <laughs> He's scared. Gotta take a quick drink. Okay. Jeez. It was just a bird. Yeah, it was just a bird. But it was like the loudest bird in history. Jeez. Okay. We are here. We are at the cabin. Look at these footsteps we put down. <sighs> God damn it, Josh. Couldn't you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. <laughs> Someone said, what am I going to do if there's nudity? Uh, if there's nudity on, like, Twitch, hey, I don't think there's much I can do. And I don't think Stop Twitch actually has any rules face. against it if it's, like, not <gasps> the focus of the stream. So I think that's fine, but uh, I will okay. have to censor it out before okay. it goes on YouTube. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Yes. Yes. We're gonna cut away out. We're gonna be like back with the psychiatrist or with the rest of the gang. Oh gosh, what happened to Jess? Nami. Oh, this is Sam what? taking a bath. You wanna help me get this fire going? Uh, well, I was just. Getting into the bath. Oh. Oh, do you need any help? <laughs> yeah. Hardy are. Okay, it's quarter to eleven. We know that Ashley's in danger from the totem that we saw. Come on. All right, Josh. Let's see if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge. But we also saw something about Sam, didn't we? I think we saw Sam with the, the fire and the arsonist. Well, what was that? I assume there's only one psychopath, but there could be more than one. Or one bad guy. I feel a little safe in knowing that maybe, maybe the bad guy is like over with Jess and Chris. And not over here with Sam, maybe? Oh, I don't even know. These are stairs. No, they're not stairs at all. The camera's a little annoying. Come on. Oh, this is the right way, okay. Okay. Alright, Tina here. You know what? I got an idea for you too. What? Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that somewhere in this crazy We're gonna have to keep an eye on have a spirit. Jess board. isn't dead yet, guys. Oh, Don't be killing Jess off to his Jess. She screamed. Yeah. And yeah, she's gone. She might have just seen like Wait, a dead squirrel. Are you saying we should have a seance? Those things are a joke, man. They don't do shit. So, no so far, way, people aren't that dead. used to do it all the time, me and... Well... Hey Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Well, yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys, see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll okay. be like a scavenger hunt. Um... Okay, guess so. Brad, I mean, you're not gonna regret it. Yep. Yeah, you're probably gonna see quite a few advertisements for this game as well on Twitch if you're watching stuff. Uh, you're not the first person in the chat who got an advertisement for the game before it started. All right. Um, are we going to turn the boiler on? They're going to find the um, spirit level or something. We've got to go find. Uh, we've got to go turn the boiler on. I'm assuming so we can have our bath. Someone, someone said with the obvious assumption is that she's dead now that she saw, not that she saw a squirrel. You know, I don't know. 
I bet she's not just dead. If she was dead, I bet they'd have shown us a death scene, like right there and then. I love that they cut away. Notice how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together. Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. Flattering. Chris needs to go for it. They're sweet together. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over. You know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> okay. That also conveniently gives you a long time with Sam. I'm not sure if we're related or not. I've, I've you know, lost track of Sam, who's related. Yes, Josh. I just wanted to say... <laughs> I don't think we are related. What? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and you know that you came, Sam. We're here for you. It's weird being back, actually. I'll, look, I'll be honest. It's definitely weird being back here, but I think it'll help us all put everything behind us. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Yeah, because Josh is, I think, the sister of the two girls who died last year. Hey, watch your step. I, I I'm watching my step, don't worry. Set of stairs. Mm -hmm. I don't like how this basement looks like a military bunker so far. Look at all this concrete. What kind of lodge in the middle of the woods has this kind of basement? Is this where they go all life is strange on us and it's just kind of like flipping spoiler alert, some massive room down here. With like all kinds of stuff. Sorry to drag you down into the bow. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. It's creepy everywhere. Like, Not the house is creepy. The outside own. is creepy. Everywhere is creepy. Okay, we have a baseball bat. Is this yours? I don't even need to read the other one. What's that doing here? I was getting ready to turn yours? around. You bet it's mine. I used to play ball with my dad all the time. Of course, that was before he got too busy to hang out with me. Ah, well, save it for the couch, right? Okay, let me see what I can do with this old hot water. What was that butterfly effect symbol about? Here, can you, can you hold this? What's that? What was it? What? Just shine it here so I can see what I'm doing. So now where it says don't move, it's using the motion controls of the controller. I'm not allowed to move my controller at all. I'm supposed to move it as little as possible. Otherwise things go wrong. And there was like some intense beating, but I held very still. Okay, first things first. We gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mm, sounds kind of complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. I'm turning it. Was it not fast enough or something? It's okay. I'm mean, just try again. Oh, okay, so we gotta we gotta grab this. We gotta turn it. Let's get it all the way up. Oh, that didn't work. Oh wait. Ah! Relax. It's not that hard. Just press the button when the light comes okay, on. Okay, that's okay, what. I'll get it that's time. what I did. Sure. I may need to use that bat as a weapon, yes, but it's down here. Oh, we may need to remember where it is. Oh gosh, I need to like get a flipping bunch of clues going. There we go. That's more like it. <laughs> All right, five, girl. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I, I took my hands off the controller. I feel bad now. 
I was ready for the high five. I'm sorry, Josh. But yeah, I feel like we're going to be running back through here later on. It's going to be like, we have to get the back. Quit it. I'm just, just joshing you. Oh, you were really freaked out. It says no, seriously. Josh. Seriously. She's really bad at this. She's not at all convincing. There's something back there. <laughs> I gotcha. All right, all right, your point. 30 love. What? No. Where'd you get the first point? It doesn't start at 30? No, 15. Oh. Well, more of a ping pong now. <laughs> yeah, who likes tennis anyway? Ping pong for the win. Wait, okay, so you hear that too, right? That really eerie, creepy noise. Yeah, I hear that. Josh. What? I said it's like. I didn't mean to not high five him, chat. I was gonna high five him. Nothing regular about it. I just, I thought that I didn't realize it was a high five. Um. You know what? I'll be heroic again. Chat has a go at me when I'm not heroic. I'm gonna go check it out. What? Why? <laughs> You care, Freddy Face. Uh, no, it's, it's probably just like. Freddy Face? Not anything. Uh, why don't you hold down the floor while I make sure? Yeah, whatever you say, madam. <laughs> Whoa, Sam! What? That's gonna be one of our friends, ah! right? <sighs> Strangers! Hey. Uh, what? It's like, it's like hey. Matt or something. What the hell? Oh, you oh, just got this. mumped. Yeah, prank. I mean, yeah, I thought it was a prank. It seemed too obvious. Hey, that was good. Wait, but why would you do that? There's all this cool old movie crap down here. What was I? Was I not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you? Are you serious? Were you in on this, putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. <laughs> People saying you missed the bat, you passed the bat. I'm ready to win. <laughs> your dumb little prank. I don't. I didn't really have like control of getting the bat, guys. Joke master. Well, I, I said nothing about jokes. I said your prank, which was dumb. Holy crap! You were scared. Admit it. I was not. Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh. She was a little scared. Okay. We saw Ashley like what? straight up dying, and I pressed the button. Didn't mean to press it. God's name, are you wearing? I found my true calling. <laughs> Please tell me you're gonna take a vow of silence. <laughs> okay, okay. Did you at least find the thingy? Boy, oh, 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 oh. here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. You know what? Are you we gonna play no. Jumanji? I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Mm. All right? So have fun. Oh, All right. Goodbye. For that, Josh. He's a schemer. Okay. Are we going back to Jess? We're going back to the psychiatrist, Dr. Hill? Oh, we're going to Emily and Matt. Okay. Hello, Earth to Matt. You're going to come with me to get my bag? Yeah. It's 10 to 11. So it's kind of like we're doing all the... Oh, it's on the floor here. Never seen we're kind of doing so the... Oh, it's another totem. We're going to find out someone's future. Giant what color are you thinking, everybody? So streak, it's yellow. Ah! Someone's going to lose a finger. Or three. A vision of guidance for a future choice. Okay. So it's kind of like a warning. It's like, in the future... If there's a choice that involves knives, be careful. You might lose some fingers, or maybe somebody will lose fingers. Oh, jeez. So all of these stories are kind of coming in simultaneously. We've seen what Jess did when they left. We've seen what the people who stayed in the cab in the lodge are doing, and now we're seeing what Matt's doing. Are, I think Madam. this is the final set Why, of people. Thank you, sir. 
At least everyone here, every male here is gentlemanly enough to open up the, the gates. Hey, I like people first. You think the vision showed a bear trap? Let's start over. What do you see in Mike? What do you see in Mike? So what'd you ever see in Mike anyways? Oh, Matt. Seriously, he's a dick. He's always been a dick. Why are we talking about this? He's still into you. It's obvious. You're a big, strong, handsome man, and you're the one that I want, so stop worrying about Mike, okay? Okay, Emily, okay. if you say so, but I'm fairly certain we saw you with him earlier. Just saying, you were you were very huggy, huggy, huggy. Okay. <sighs> Come on, that wasn't scary. The lights okay. just turned on. Someone turned on the generator. Okay. It was all just, that was fine. So that's when we managed to get down and turn the generator on. To kind of give a time frame here. There was a very dark, scary little hut in the distance. What could possibly go wrong, right? Hey, doofus, come this way. Call me a doofus. You, uh, trying to get me somewhere private? Why don't you, uh, come find out? I will definitely come find out. What's up, Emily? Yeah? Thanks for helping me find my bag. I know I can be a little high maintenance. You don't say. It's fine. I'll burst. We don't want to suck. We don't want to seem all it's not down. Fun, but you got to remember, there's more to this guy than just being a lean, mean, luggage-lifting machine. <laughs> you going to back that up? All day. <laughs> what? All day. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? They like, they all, all horny day. as hell. I know, right? <laughs> they are all horny as hell. Yeah, like sexy. That is like ninety five percent of the dialogue. Sex and jump scares. The video game. I don't like this at all. I still, we still need to keep an eye on Ashley, as well as the other, like, seven people. Huh. Cool. Oh, it's so pretty out here tonight. Wow. Yeah. It's so nice to be here with you, muscle man. Ah, uh, I'm not all muscle. <laughs> there are some brains in here, too. Well, you got enough brains to like me, so let's see that brawn. You ever done it outside before? Outside of what? <laughs> My car. I like your car. Roomy. This ain't roomy enough for you? This ain't roomy enough for you? This ain't roomy enough for you? There was something over there. What was what was over there? Or was it over here? An X popped up, and I wanted to see what it was. Oh, it's, it's a table. Uh, that's like, what? come on. Maybe there's a better no, spot. we're gonna do it Just on the table. Spot. Start with a G. There are lots of places out here. I already started clearing this all for us. Like a gentleman. Well, come <laughs> on, let's look around. Like a gentleman. <laughs> Just clear it off some more. Oh. Oh, oh there's that. more. Mike and Emily. Hey. The hell, Em? Don't be jealous. Why would you take me here? Made me feel like a chump. Don't be so sensitive. I'm here with you right now. Mike's the chump. Okay. Maybe chump isn't the right word. What is? Lucky. Hmm. You got in there. Okay. Let's go. Oh, what's so important in the bag, anyways? It's just my undies. The lacy ones. Well, hell, we don't need those. You don't want me to model them for you? I'm just gonna rip them off, anyways. Maybe I want to show them off. Puts me in a generous mood. Let's go get them. <laughs> Let's go get them.
Okay. So, the, the developers say the game takes about nine hours to complete. Uh, let's go this way. Uh, into the light. If that's true, we are like, what, two hours in? Yeah. Two hours in. And there were, what, like eight of them? Sure, so I assume, like, one has to die every hour oh in order to keep up with the pacing impressive. of the game. What was that? Uh, I'm not sure. Probably just an animal. Was that Jess? Not like... Oh, we're now playing as Emily. Okay. Province Penitentiary? That's not an old creep, eh? We're Josh. They're just trying to mess with us. Kind of uncool, guys. I don't like this. We I don't have. Oh! I have a feeling that's that not anybody that, going on. that we know. What the hell did Who wrote welcome back well, in blood? I'm kind of not giving a shit about my pants anymore. I kind of just want to split. Agreed. Seems like a good idea. Okay, we're back with Dr. Hill. What does this guy want? Hi. I would like to understand your feeling toward people who fear failure and worry about what others think of them. Okay. Do you share this fear? The fear of failure? Sure. I swear he's added a spider to the desk after we said that's we were afraid of spiders before. Because that's not reflected in the way you are playing your game now, is it? I really don't get this guy. Is this meant to be talking to us, the actual player? Are we being like actively treated by Dr. Hill? Let us investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. Okay. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person? Loyalty or honesty? He's got a flipping needle on his desk! And a snake he ain't got a snake yet, but he's got a needle and a spider. What the heck? <laughs> I value honesty over loyalty. So, you would tell the truth, even if it resulted in an unpleasant outcome for a friend. And what about honesty then? And charity? Uh, honesty? Someone's asking about this actor. I'm pretty sure he was Charity's in, like, prison break. I suppose. I think. Better to be true to yourself than to help others Might in need, right? Oh, what was again? I'm afraid we're out of time. These flipping we'll things are so short. Okay, thank you. 